Good morning everyone. It's been a while since I've made a little video. But anyway, uh, this weekend is the September long weekend. Uh, we're doing the Blackwood River this weekend, so it should be good. Um, it's been a while since I've done it. The last time I did it was trucks were really, really easy. Anyway, we're going to miss out the first section of it. Um, so we're heading down now to, uh, to Collie, uh, where we're going to meet up with the rest of the crew. Right, we're going to find you a park, Alex. Uh, maybe we've got a train station here somewhere. Where are you, Simon? Yeah, straight ahead, there's a little train carriage up here. Like that. There's a little coffee shop right here called The Wagon, an old train wagon. That's our meeting point for the trip. A couple people quickly snug off and get some more supplies. Yeah, alright, that's a good idea. I'm coming for a coffee supply. Finally left uh, Collie, backing our way for the Blackwood River. Um, I'm not sure where Shane's actually planning on um, joining the track, um, but we are making our way down now. I think Shane's got a couple of detours in mind as well. I'd say the road's in pretty good neck, so I'm not going to worry about these down tyres just yet. If you, anyone wants me, just hang out. I'm just going to fall back a bit so I can stay out of the dust. Yeah, right. The uh, track is certainly dusty in places. Dixon Country Music Centre. Does anyone want to look around inside? Well, it says the centre's closed, mate. I do. Is it closed? Yeah, the uh, sign at the very front there has got a the Hub Dixon sign, and under it says closed. Oh, look at all the old traders and boards here. Um, all right, then we we'll, might as well just carry on if it's closed. Yeah, give us five minutes here. You want to take a photo of all these lined up here? That's what she's doing. Yeah, how cool is that? Look at the tree growing through the hole and the second one along. Reckon just uh, refurbish that boat, uh, Shane. Those old cars. Get in one, Maybe a little bit. This one's been here a while, it's got a tree literally going through it. I think the only water this boat sees now is just the rain.
So this thing here has a register sticker in it still. So we'll find a year. It's, I think it's 2004 or six. So this has been off the road now for 20 years. Okay, that's 2008, 2006, 2008. Back to the cars, let's carry on. A nice little quaint place on the right there, Alex. Yeah, magnificent, isn't it? Beautiful. Ah, uh, look, they're drilling for blue water, that's cool. Does anyone uh, want to stop and have a break for lunch? Fresh legs or something, or? No, it's good to look around in New Town, mate. Never been here before. Beautiful. Well, let me take you to a little spot. Stop and quickly. There's a little bridge, cool little bridge here. So the water flowing that way through the bridge. Saving it on the output. A little bit of a smell. Got a weed through there. Yeah, let's carry on.
down with you, Sean. Throw a line down here, mate. Back the river. Here's the bridge that we just travelled over. Yep, right down there. Oh, good little fishing spot. Just checking out how the structure and how they made it. Stumps there. Thick as. Or wood. Little hut of some sort just there. Alright, off again. Tweed Road. Some uh, daisies on the right. I think I'll be just stopping here for a bit and let this dust settle. So it's going to stop quickly. It's running parallel with the uh, Blackfoot at the moment. Just through there. Good paddle. Anyway, forward we go. Oh, it's just beautiful, mate. Nice and green and clean the trees. Lots of tucker running around in the paddock. Lovely place, the uh, caravan park is full. I need to get me a new phone, this is shit. I can, I can make it. Yeah. <laughs> River right here. Alright, just over before we do a U turn because we missed our turn. But we all turned left. Thanks, Dave. He's running off my maps as well. Oh, mate, I had it too far down, so I'm sort of going past it before I get to it. <laughs> Find some way to turn around the pear shade somewhere. Oh, Yeah, 
Yeah, How far away is the next spot? Mate, there's heaps of parking here. Just find a spot. <laughs> we're, at, we're at camp now. Just finished setting up, or still setting up. Um, the best campsite is there, but other people beat us to it. But we have the river right behind here, flowing just there. We can easily get to it, just from here. Good to see it flowing again. Last time we were here, it wasn't flowing. Do them up and get drain up. dinner tonight Shane bought a little steak and I'm going halves with him so we size that tomahawk steak so Shane and I are going to go halves in that we're going to get it hot quickly sear it and we're going to turn down and slow cook it right I've just done a little flip check that out so now I'll just turn the web right down as long as it goes and I'm just going to let that sit there for ages and cook. I'm going to try to get a medium rare steak. There she look. Oh yes. Do a little flip I think. Yes. There's that. And the dessert tonight is tangy lemon. Right. Shana here has got doing the chips. Using mainland tank. garlic butter. Yeah. Grass fed butter. Grass fed butter. <laughs> <laughs> um, potatoes over canned. Fresh baby. Oh, a couple trying to get away. Baby tomatoes. Yeah, so that's and down the there. So you're roasting up potatoes in there. And then this is dessert, uh, dessert dinner. There. Got some oh, South African Borobo sausage, which I've had to cut in half because they're partly semi frozen. Then, as you saw earlier, we've got tangy lemon cake for dessert, which I'll cook that in the Weber as well. So, you're going to run the knife, the blade right on the bone, right? You want a flat board really to cut that on, you know? Yeah, just put on the uh, that on flat board, it's up the board. Put on there. Right. You're a lefty or a righty? Yeah, I'd hold. Yeah, okay. Oh, keep going, going around. Is close. it cooked to perfection? Yeah. Oh, it it's beautiful, Perfect. Dave. Oh. Keep going along the bone. You down there yet? Nice. Does it cook well? Yeah. Medium rare? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Will be. There you go. Put your bone back on there. When you're in a restaurant, what they do is they bring that back, bone back with all the meat. And then just slice. No, yeah, I, yeah. But nice and thin. Yeah. Don't get too fat, else it'll be just too chewy for you. Nice shit, Go, give it, give it a taste. Go on, give it a taste. Oh, that looks so juicy. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. 
Okay, so it look, that does look so good. Yeah, and then just keep, uh, let's try it. Is it good? Oh, fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh. oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Keep slicing it like that. Oh. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh. That's so good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's... look at that. Gee, that's a great piece of meat. That's a great piece of meat. Cooked perfection, man. Beautiful. So juicy. Oh, look. Yep. Nice. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. I've been towing the trailer for six months, and like the tyres are five and a half deep. I'm just. Oh, you know, it's not worth it, man. David? Cheers, mate. Oh. Can I show you that? Say grace while we're cutting this. Father God, Lord, we just thank you for. This great food, Lord, we thank you for this great journey, this trip that we're on today, Father. We can all come together. And Lord, we just pray over this food, Father. We thank you for the preparation of it. You've blessed Dave's hands for it, Lord, that we would get nourishment from it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Bless it to our lips and not our hips. <laughs> Amen to that one. <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Mm-hmm. You, you oh. flavoured it beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh. Flavouring. Flavouring. Yeah, flavouring is good. Okay. Flavouring. What was it? From the South African shop. Beef oh, aromat. Yeah. Chili beef aromat. Chili beef aromat. With a bit of this aromat, also from the South African shop. And salt. Mmm. That's it. Look at those juices still sitting in there. Yeah, I know. Put that over the top. Mm. Here's a nice bit of that pepper there. Close to the bone, the meat tastes best. That's so good. Is that time? I've actually been finding it a lot easier lately. I actually find it easier. I've done it the last couple of times. I'm actually, prepping the cake and baking it all in one one tray. So that's how I'm going to do it. And this recipe asks for two eggs. 150 ml of milk, uh, 60 grams of butter, and a tray. So, it's my tray. So, obviously, I'm just going to throw my tray straight in there because I need to try to melt my butter a little bit. So, just throw you in my mouth for a few seconds. Fridge, get some butter out. Sixty grams. So there's fifty, so a bit over. So have a look at this, hey. Butter's melted quite nicely. So let's crack a couple of eggs in there. There we go. Smashed in.
Ja. Doe jou hem ook. Oké. Okay. Okay. And now, cake mix. There we go. Okay. Fork that. Try that. That looks so much better. Right, that's mixed. I think the whisk I did, I did, did work eventually. Right. There we go. Done. See you in about 45 minutes. Right, cake's still going. Just got my coffee on the moment. Cake's still going. What she looks like so far, not ready yet. That was half now. Alright, let's try this cake. Let's try this cake. Yeah, this is back. Let's get a fine a knife. Mm. So much cutlery and I can't find a knife. There we go. Oh, that's done. Looks good. It's coming out clean. Well, I think that's done. That's done. Oh, I'll turn this gas off. I've got to go there to do that. All right. Yeah, mate. Look that. That's cooked. Look at that. about this is because I made it in there and hardly any cleaning up to do. Can I see the bottom? Yeah, perfect. Right, it's gonna let that cool down. Alright, cake is ready. Just a little bit warm. Bomb is perfect. Cut that up, share it around. That's dessert, and that's me good night. Right, good morning everyone. We got uh, coffees ready going. He's just discovered he's got a flat tire. They're still asleep. And he's waving hello. Had uh, about five, six degrees this morning. Um, the birds are out, kookaburras are out. Still pretty good. And I slept comfortably. Anyway, I'm going to finish my coffee, start backing up, and then went ahead and hit the road soon. And I thought just before we uh, head off, I'll do just a quick little video, a little peaceful video of the Blackwood. There's the water running down. Right into the point earlier when I was walking down here, and I slipped right there, which I got out of video. Anyway, we're uh, just about finished packing up, and we're off, and we're going to Head up into Nanup and then from there we'll keep going uh, west.
fishing there we would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, rainbow trout in there. Sorry? Trout? Yeah, trout and redfin perch. Oh, I love rainbow trout, eh? Hey? I'd like to catch a redfin perch one day. Oh, here, yeah, look at him. Great, great to fish. It's lovely. And that's the other side. I reckon in there, and like all the snags be some fish, uh, some red pin perch, or something. I really don't catch a perch. Is that you, Shane? Shane? Are you there, Shane? Do they know where they stopped? Yeah. Yeah, they'll find them. Where do we stop? All right. Okay. Yeah, baby. Dan, does it work? We got a puncture repair going on. See, he went on Ronnie Dahl. Yeah, that's right. Shane was on a Ronnie Dahl show. You're watching his forward drive shows. Shane actually participated. Ronnie Dahl had a competition Pass going on there. For the last uh, full draft show, and Shane was actually a participant in that. Let's get the well, express well, ready off the Prado. Like a shot ball, won't they? Yep. Well, I thought I had a nice kick. So, nice first breakdown for the trip. Done. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? It's a full ranger. Full ranger. First breakdown for the trip. I'm so happy it's just a nail. <laughs> G-A-I-A, Gaia four-wheel drive. All right, here's a look out the uh, Blackwood Valley. Just around this tree line here. Now sadly, I charged my drone batteries okay. about three, four days ago. Uh, He's just gonna check out another track around the corner. That's so pretty. Yeah. You know, I discharged my batteries about three, four days ago, but they're already gone flat. So I've only got one battery left, which is not much charge left in it. So I won't be getting the drone out here for a better shot. Just in case it decides to do a forced landing somewhere that I can't get to. So that black was there where we were following it actually is right out and around that peninsula for a few days and then comes back and there it is right beside us again. Leaving here now, Shano. Our hardest track we've done so far. It's a Patriot. And we're all tracks, not some tracks. Exactly what they're designed to do. Even if we have to do a U-turn. Four turned off the main track. Good on you, Dave. It's been four years since I've been down here, so um, we'll see what it's like. Looks a little steep, doesn't it? Is it a low first hill?
where we plan on having lunch and finding a real coffee shop. Turn left at the stop sign, Alex, and then we drive it for a bit and then turning left again onto a track. What a sterling day! Steps are broken. Bunch of wussies. Yeah. But your your nuts are gonna go for a hollow up in your Mate, stomach. Hard nut. <laughs> <laughs> Shane's ready out. You gotta do My it. glasses. Mate. Come on, you lot. Dive in then. Oh, 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 oh mate. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that's fresh. Oh big stuff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat that, I could only eat Clinton. <laughs> That's for you, Penny. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Mate, you got some balls. Well, Ooh. not now, you don't. Know, <laughs> not now. <laughs> They're rescinded. Make it work his backside as well, man. Yeah, do the backside, man. Do, 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 the, do, the, do the front. Oh. It's fresh, man. That is fresh. <laughs> Woohoo! Well done. They call me Sharon now. <laughs> Old Timberline Trail campsite access. What's that? That's 
stop flying for a moment and Shane jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> Slide. There we go. All right, we're out of here. Good, just past that down tree. It's all ours, fellas. It's all ours. Alright. Plan B web, uh, campsite is a fail. It's just too muddy. Um, if it was drier, a bit more summer, summery time, it would be a lot better. But right now, it's just you just have a thin layer of mud or clay on top. So we're going to go and find a plan C. Dave, I'm just going to go and do a quick scan around the little place. Okay, I'm going to go and do a quick scan around the little place. Alright, so we found camp. And it's not where we wanted, but it's camp. So. Can't be roses every day, I suppose. Um, campsite we went to was no good. 
campsite we found that would be perfect was occupied and every other campsite we've gone to has been too small so we've got this little side bit here and that's where we set up camp a couple of others actually head off home already um, we're camping here even still still not enough cars for or not enough room for the cars we got here so it is what it is and that's what it is so this is camp for tonight all right got, I got uh, dinner going or oh, whoever's warming up I should say and T-bone there from Woolies little snaggers in there campfire's going and thank you to, Orni, uh, to the shower tent a nice hot shower as well Mosquito's quite friendly tonight He's on right here Nice big little suckers um, That's really about it Just basically going to eat Sit by fire Talk rubbish I've got another cake to cook tonight It's not chocolate cake So I'll do that later on That's basically our night done Tomorrow morning Alright Dessert it's nice dessert. All right, coffee going. Quick check. Oh, look at that! Oh, juices. All right. Let's have a look. I think that is ready. Dip it. Clean. Beautiful. Give it a little. around the edges ah. my scissors you see the juice down the bottom there Perfectly. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Not even burnt or anything under there. Another perfect cake. Right, I'll pull this out. Let it cool down a bit. Dave. Yep. I'll drop it off at your place later. Yep. Twenty five dollars. You clean it for me, boy. Yep. Done. I'll leave store it for you too. Cindy's going to be so proud of you, mate. Yeah. She's you earning that kind of money. Store it for you as well. Eh? Store it for you as well. Cindy will cook you dinner for you, mate, if you sit and stay productive. <laughs> Good morning, mate. Well, look at this little bit of cloud. Good night's sleep. Not that cold. Fire's out from last night. They're still sleeping over there. We're about to put the uh, kettle on now, get the coffee going, and then we'll sleeve them up and start packing up. Our idea is to be on the road by 8 o'clock. Um, been a long weekend. We're going to try to stay away from buses and highway and stuff like that. We're going to try to go inland and through Nan up on the way home. Um, and try to avoid all the traffic. Anyway, I think that's it for this trip. I'm going to sign off now and see you all on the next one.